Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. So friends, today's session is going to be a bit interesting. The reason behind that one. So today I'm going to show you a real time troubleshooting, right? And this question has been asked multiple times in the interviews also, guys, that uh, your system is not booting up. So what could be the potential reason? So in front of you only, I am going to show you. So whenever you power on, okay, your system, RHEL 9, and your system is not booting up, it's going into rescue mode, guys. So what could be the potential reason and how you can troubleshoot and you can make your system or your virtual machine into fully GUI mode, guys. So here you can see I'm trying to boot up the system just now. I have turned on the system or this virtual machine. I have just power on this virtual machine. So friends, you can see clearly as soon as I power on the virtual machine, it's going into where? It's going into, you can see you are in emergency mode after login. Just type general CTL hyphen XB to view the system logs or you can type system CTL reboot also or you can type reboot also or system CTL default or exit also. So this issue you are going to face in RHEL 9 if your file system somehow you might have been uh, unmounted something my friend okay and you forgot to comment that particular uh, file system or I would say the partition and wherever the uh, file system is mounted okay into slash etc fs tab file guys so this is one of the potential reason and uh, that your system is not going into fully gui mode guys so whenever this question will come to you in the interview that what could be the potential reason you are trying to start your system or your system is not booting up so what could be the potential reason so the only potential reason is that in slash etc fs tab file you have forgot to comment a particular file system which is mounted on some directory okay and you by mistake you have unmounted it or deleted that directory right or you have mounted the directory into somewhere else so please make sure guys whichever the directory you have mounted to a pa particular partition okay so before if you are restarting your virtual machine or if you have mounted into some other directory also okay or even if you have deleted that particular partition right so it's your job to comment everything in slash etc fs tab before rebooting the virtual machine guys remember comment everything in the slash etc fs tab right then only just reboot your virtual machine so now i am going to show you in front of you only see now my system is in it's asking me to give root password for maintenance right and i need to either i i can give you the root, root password over here but what happened after that right again it will go into the emergency mode guys so to resolve this issue what you need to do so first provide the root password over here and this is in rhel 9 i am showing it to all of you this is a virtual machine this is virtual machine workstation okay and this is a virtual machine guys okay so the password is incorrect so now you can see i am into this is a complete cli mode guys okay so now friends what you need to do is just check the default run level so in rhel 9 if you want to know the default run level so you need to run the command called system ctl get hyphen default okay so you can see this is graphical dot target but this is not a fully gui my friend so to go into the gui mode as i said to resolve this issue first open the file vim is not going to work for you slash etc fs tab okay now you can see clearly here that there is two here see you can clearly see there are two right uh partition which is mounted one is mounted on slash srb nfs share another one is mounted on var ftp pub okay so what you need to do is that immediately just go and comment all these my friend okay so just go and comment all these okay that is what 
just leave the core these are the like when you have created the virtual machine so these are the file system okay which you have it's automatically gets created whenever you create a virtual machine by the system itself only okay and in, these are the two partition which i have created by myself and which is mounted on this directory guys you can see in slash srv nfs here and the other one is also uh, slash var ftp pub and all because of this only we are not able to boot our linux operating system that is rhcl9 my friend so first comment this one once the system will be fully booted into your gui mode go there and uncomment again and mount again that is what you need to verify and then mount again now you will see the system will boot up again okay with full gui mode now let let's save this one so you can see i have saved this one and it's written also now reboot the system my friend and it will be directly going into your fully gui mode So friends, you can see now your system is booted up into a fully GUI mode and now I am able to log in and now I am able to log in as a root user my friend. So you can see clearly and now you can see I'll click on this one. I can open a terminal my friend and just see that file slash etc fs tab. Okay. So now you can see these are the two partitions which is mounted on these directories which I have commented. Now you can uncomment these directories and you can start working again. So only the main potential reason uh, you will face whenever your system is not booting up. It's only because of slash etc fstf file. So you have uh, forgot to uh, comment some of the uh, file system which you have might be deleted or you have deleted the directory or might be you have deleted the partition and all this could be the potential reason so please answer this question in interview like this you can explain my friend so for more videos like this just stay tuned to my channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon my friend till then just do take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jai hind my friend